For the alignment of uh, the uh, rear of the RS4, uh, you cannot adjust camber. So there's a bolt over there. That is not a camber bolt. Those two are not adjustable either. The only adjustable bolt is this one. The one that's gonna adjust the toe. So you can loosen this. And of course, the other end is barely accessible on the other end. Uh, if you have, I already recommend getting a 80 millim 18 millimeter flex head to be able to reach the back. And uh, this will adjust the toe only. So on my left hand side here, you see my toe is off at 0 0.60. I should be at 0 0.20. I'm gonna loosen this up. Gonna loosen my ball. 50. 45, 35. I'm back at 0 0.20. On each side, the camber doesn't change, but now my toe is where I want it. If you want to cheat a bit with camber, once the car is sitting like this on the wheel, if you loosen those two, with the weight of the car, it's gonna kind of push the wheel out and increase your camber. If you want it to slightly reduce camber, you will have to lift the wheel in the air, loosen those two, push as far as you can uh, the wheel in and we tighten in the bushings and you can get a couple of tenths of degrees. Camber is in spec here. We'll try to see by lifting, lifting the wheel if we can reduce the camber in the back. So here I have my wheel off the ground. And so you can see, uh, I was at 210 by loosening this with the wheel in the air and no weight anymore. I dropped to 170, which is much closer to spec. Uh, at least I am within spec. So I'm going to tighten that in place. So here after tightening, I am back at 175, which is still better than my 210 and uh, way more within spec. Looking now at the front, there is no adjustment for camber. So both end of the lower control arm are not adjustable. If you had adjustable upper arms, you could adjust camber, but from the fact that there is no adjustment. The only thing we're gonna be able to adjust is the toe on the tie rod so if you look at the tie rod here there is a nut that you loosen it's a 20 21 mil here on the nut and then you can turn the tie rod with a 19 millimeter here you can see that's how you adjust your two and once you are done, so that was the 19, then you can take your 21. Here I go. And now you can see my toe. It's correct at 0 015. Nothing I can really do about the camber. I can try to do the same trick as I did in the rear by loosening. I could lo loosen the lower control arm bolts or the upper ones to push the wheel outside, but uh, that's not going to give me much.